Hey guys, Jessica here. Today we're going to talk about the inevitable gas, aka toot, because that's what I called it growing up. Go figure. So just think about it. You're sitting in class, you're stressed out, you're about to take the biggest test, and you're so afraid of what's going to happen, and you feel it come along. Oh no, your stomach starts to rumble. You feel it, you know what's going to happen, but you don't want to let it out because you're in the middle of class. So what do you do? You just hold it in. Well, today we're going to talk about stress, because you know when you're stressed, it leads to GAS, a.k.a. General Adaptive Syndrome, or GAD, depending on what you learned. For me, it was GAS. So, it, um, when you're stressed out, stress is a stimulus. So, when you're stressed out, there's three main stages of this um, General Adaptation Syndrome. The alarm, resist, and exhaustion. And it's all an individual response to stress, though that varies, but the threats can be internal or external. So just think about this, right? You're in class, you're stressed out for that test. Alarm, alarm face, that's the first stage, alarm. Oh my word, I need to toot. I can feel it, you can feel the gas building inside your stomach. Ah, what are you gonna do? Alarm, right? Adrenaline's kicked in, your glucose, your respiratory rate's going up, you're, you might start sweating because you're like, oh no, I really got to let this out. I hope it just goes away. What's going to happen? Well, you move then to the next stage, which is resistance. You resist. You don't want to let that toot out in the middle of class. What if it stinks? What if people make fun of you? What if, what if, what if? So you resist, and if that stressor persists, your stress will continue to increase and build and build and build until your body can't handle it, and then toot, let it go, let it go, can't hold it back anymore. You let that toot go, sorry, but you just got to do it. You couldn't hold it anymore. You've now moved on to the exhaustion stage, right? Your body is so exhausted from holding in that it just can't handle it. It's tired. Your health could suffer. It could lead to death. Probably not from just gas, but just saying during the stage. It creates dangerous reactions on your body. If you have resisted for a long time, your body gets exhausted. So, right? Gas? Weird analogy, but I'm just saying think about this for a second. It will help you on your test. So with stress, you have your alarm phase. Your oh. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> oh no. And then you resist, you hold it in, and then you let it go. Exhaustion phase, you finally let it go. Oh, thank goodness. Your body can try and recover, but you're really tired. Your body's lethargic. It was hard work holding that little toot in. So there you go, stress and gas. Hope you enjoyed.